Well, good afternoon, everyone. Hope everybody's well today. I got this little over eight pound boneless pork loin and I normally do chops in it and then a roast or a cut off a good chunk and do a pulled pork or something. What I'm gonna make for tonight is um, pulled pork. So I'm gonna take I'm going to take about four pounds, about half of this, and I'm going to cube it, and I'm just, that's all I'm going to do is salt and pepper it. I'm going to do it in the pressure cooker. Now be careful, don't, I didn't say pressure canner, I said pressure cooker, which looks like this, okay? And I can brown and everything right in this. So I'm going to put some vegetable oil in. Let that start getting warmed up. And then I'm just gonna take this chunk so it'll cook a lot quicker, I'm just gonna cube it. So I'm gonna go just like that. Cut it into cubes. That'll make it cook a lot quicker. Otherwise, if I was just Cutting this into even three sections, it'd probably take a good 45 minutes in the pressure cooker, but cubing it, it's not gonna take as long. Okay, now after I get it all cut up in cubes like this, then I'm just gonna salt and pepper it, and I'm gonna brown sear it in the pressure cooker. Okay? Okay, you have to do it in batches and you want to do it so it starts browning up, okay? And then put oil in each time because it's going to need it. And don't overcrowd it, okay? Because you want to brown it up pretty good. So just put enough in there to cover one layer on the bottom. And then after you do that, you're going to salt and pepper it. Okay? Now we're gonna put some pepper on it. And some kosher salt. Now, this one I'm making is actually my husband's recipe. The kids love it. The grandkids love it. So, he had to leave for a while, so I'm kinda trying to remember everything. I got his input before he had to leave to go somewhere for a while. And after it's all cooked, remember salt and pepper it each time, okay? Then you're gonna take and make up a barbecue sauce. And when it's done, we're gonna shred it really good with some forks. And um, if you don't wanna use forks, what my husband uses, he uses the hand mixer. And he does it with that. Much easier than doing it with the forks, okay? So you might wanna keep that little trick in mind, using the hand mixer. All right, and then after it gets all shredded good, then we're just gonna take and uh, make up a barbecue sauce. But once this is all done cooking, all your batches are browned, okay? Then, you're gonna put a little more vegetable oil in the pot and a little bit of water because to use a pressure cooker, you should have at least a cup of liquid of some sort in there, okay? That's it. Just some vegetable oil and some water, okay? Dump all your meat in there, lock on your, your lid, and put it on high. It's in small pieces, so it's really not gonna take long. Um, I don't know, because I haven't done it. I usually do it in the big, you know, good size pieces, which takes, you know, a while. But we're gonna try 30 minutes. It's not gonna hurt it. It's just gonna make it shred apart more easier. And just for some ideas, for the other half of the um, boneless pork, line, pork loin, I took the other half, four pounds, and I just cut them up into thick style pork chops. And I'm just gonna cut a slit in them make like a packet and then just stuff them and they have stuffed pork chops for dinner one night. But 
night. It's going to be pulled pork on buns and some home fries and some green beans, potatoes and green beans I had canned. I still got quite a few left, so I want to start using them up. All right, let me get finish getting all this browned up and stuff, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, the meat's all brown. Now we're going to add in just a little vegetable oil. And we're going to put in some water. Well, let me just grab something here. About a cup. Okay, and we're going to dump all our meat into the pressure cooker. all that juice and everything. And what's nice is all those brown bits in the bottom of the pan, that'll start deglazing and that's all, nothing but flavor. Okay, now we're gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna do it for about a half an hour on high, set it for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we could be making our barbecue sauce. Because after it's cooked, and the air pressure's out of it and everything. Then we're going to put in some ketchup, and some Worcestershire sauce, some onion and garlic powder, chili powder. Sometimes instead of using chili powder, he'll use cumin. But I think chili powder does a better flavor, and then some apple cider vinegar. Okay, that's what we're gonna use to make the barbecue sauce with. All right, let me get a whisk. I got one of my granddaughters over visiting for a few days really excited about that and she's over there making a chocolate fudge cake with a uh, chocolate frosting well she's actually instead of the cake she's going to make it into muffins all right i'm going to put in about two cups of ketchup probably a couple tablespoons of worcestershire sauce Try to do it this way to give you a measurement. Probably about a teaspoon of onion powder. And a teaspoon and a half will save garlic powder. And we'll try a teaspoon of the chili powder. Maybe easier if I do it like this for you. And we'll try a cap full for now, the apple cider vinegar. All right, let me get this stirred up. Now this is his way also of making one of the barbecue sauces for it. Let's give that a taste. Pretty good, but I'm a garlic lover. So I'm going to put in a little more garlic powder. Probably another half a teaspoon. And the only thing I need now to put in 
is some brown sugar, which I have to get out. My molasses. My grandma's molasses and some white sugar, and then I'm gonna make some, so I'll be right back. Okay, that was a good workout for my arm. But I got my brown sugar all made. That was just the molasses and white sugar. And I use this third cup measure, put that in. Then we'll give the barbecue sauce a little taste and see how that tastes. All right, let's give it a little taste. I think that's good. I think he'll like it. Okay, hopefully it matches up with his. All right. Okay, it's been 30 minutes and it's cooked. Now I'm gonna use the, try his little trick with the pan mixer and shred it that way. Well, let me show you what it looks like before I do that. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, this didn't take long at all. It shredded up super fast, that hand mixer. So that's a good little trick. Oops, I got you crooked. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so, so you're using the forks, just get out the old hand mixer. All right, now what I did with the barbecue sauce was, you can heat it up in a pan and let it cook for a few minutes. I just zapped it in the microwave for a couple of minutes, and then I'm gonna let it cook for a few minutes after I combined it with the meat, okay? Don't know if I'm going to use all of it. Let's start with half. Stir that all up in. Looks like I'm going to use it all. That was a good guess. Okay. Oh my God, it smells so good. I want to make sure you mix it up really good now. Now we're going to get some nice uh, good buns of some sort, brioche or whatever. Have it on that. I also made up another batch of uh, coleslaw because some of them want to put coleslaw on the top of their pulled pork sandwiches. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Give it a little taste. Oh, that's good. Mm. Okay, everybody, there it is. And now, uh, since we're not having it until later, um, for supper, I can't really show you what it looks like on the sandwich with the coleslaw, but it sure tastes good. So, hopefully my husband will be well pleased with it, because I'm kind of going by how he, he sort of does it. I'd feel a little better though if he was here, but he wasn't, so I winged it. 
We'll have to see how the outcome is. All right, y'all. You have a good one. Take care. God bless you. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody came rushing in to have a sandwich for now, so I told them all they could have pulled pork sandwich for now before I fix the rest of the dinner with the home fries and green beans. So they had to go somewhere again for a little while. But I ended up putting, making up one more cup of barbecue sauce with um, to make it a little bit more juice in it, liquid. So I ended up using one more cup of ketchup, a teaspoon of onion powder, and also a teaspoon of um, garlic powder, and a teaspoon of chili powder, and a good big full cap full of uh, apple cider vinegar. And I can't remember if I just said a teaspoon of chili powder or not. Okay, I heated that up and then just threw it in. Okay, let's. The barbecued pork. I'm gonna have some with a little coleslaw on it. And we'll give it a taste. Mm. Oh, it's really good. So, my husband just got back. And I said, well, what do you think? So he tasted it and said it was pretty close to his. So hold on that one. All right, everybody. Y'all take care. God bless. Bye-bye.